Now, another important aspect about uh, dapagliflozin is about its use in the elderly. Now, as we said, if you remember, if you said in a, some time back that uh, though dapagliflozin is a recently researched molecule, a drug which is recently available, but it, in that short time, it has been extensively studied. So studies have found that they're safe for to use in elderly patients. Uh, because not only diabetes is also used in patients of uh, you know uh, who have heart failure, and these are also these are again patients who are elderly patients. So it shows good results. Data that is enough data available to show its good results in uh, elderly patients, even in those patients who are above seventy five years of age. Uh, so uh, luckily, uh, one advantage with dapagliflozin is that no dose adjustment is required. The dose need not be increased or decreased. Uh, you know, in elderly patients, so you can you can you can be given the same dose that is given to other other patients of diabetes mellitus. Yeah, but one point that has to be borne in mind, and which your physician will also know, is that those patients who who have a low blood pressure or who are prone to low blood pressure, uh, the, in those patients you have to be a bit careful because uh, there is some possibility uh, that. Uh, dapagliflozin could reduce the blood pressure in some patients. If it's if it is monitored properly, then ob obviously uh, the incidence and the severity can be reduced. 